What's really, really good, my people? This your boy, Smallito, Smallito's Bay, coming at you with another video. Hit that like, hit that share, hit that subscribe button, show some love to the channel. Much love to everybody that's been signing up to watch these, these videos, man, subscribing. Mad love for y'all, man. So let's get into this. All right, so we're going to revisit a topic that I did a while back, and a lot of people were very... I got a lot of backlash for this shit. I got a lot of good good comments. I got a lot of backlash for this. So let's go. Let's get back into this. Fat Joe recently did an interview where he was saying that Liza, who is Big Pun's wife, I mean Big Pun, rest in peace, approached him talking about that she wanted to do a movie. And she wanted him in the movie, apparently. And he his proposition was, okay, I'll do the movie for free if you go on social media on whatever platform and admit that you were lying about everything that i've been there through and through the whole time and everything that you said to this point was out of anger and was false to which liza replied hell no she didn't do it so that's why we don't have a big pun movie but it brought me to a larger point, and it's like, all right. When I made the last video, there was a few people telling me to go check out Big Pun Sisters videos and all that. And I had already seen them and everything, but I just, I felt that the, I didn't want to keep beating the dead horse. But this came back up, so I'm making another video. So here, go, here goes my thought on Big Pun Sister. Big Pun Sister, for whatever reason, to me, not whatever reason, she clearly said she doesn't like Liza. She doesn't like his his wife because his wife cheated on Pun. His wife was fucking crazy and all these other things. And as a sister, no sister's gonna like a woman that, you know, makes her brother go crazy and do all this other crazy shit and be cheating and all that. I don't think any sister would like that. Okay, there's one. She went as far as to say that Liza was gonna kill Fat Joe. It's reckless. With no proof, it's reckless. Then she dropped a bombshell saying that she believes that Liza was or could be the cause of what happened to Pun. He didn't die on accident, pretty much. That she might have killed Pun. <sighs> Which is crazy to think that that's even a possibility. But made me think of one question and one question only. Big Pun died in what? 2099? Why in the fuck, if you felt... For 20 years that your brother was poisoned or killed or whatever the case may be, that you waited all that time till they named the Big Pun Plaza on Fordham Road. You waited till that particular moment to start speaking your truth. It just sounded crazy. The timing is off, man. You know what I mean? To me. Because if that was my, I don't have a brother, but if I had a brother and I felt that somebody killed him, I'm addressing that immediately day one i'm not doing it 20 years later and all this other shit it makes no sense at this point because it lost his it lost his, his its appeal because like it or not big pun a lot of people revere him and all that shit and they, they love him but in a lot of people's eyes he's not you know he wasn't like biggie or something where you know like his 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 street naming should have been a lot bigger put it like that you know what I'm saying? Like, like, um, when Jay passes and they name a strip right down the middle of Marcy Projects, Jay-Z Boulevard, he gonna bring them out. He gonna bring them out. He gonna bring Nas, every, everybody. Look, what, prime example, DMX. God bless the dead. DMX brought them out. DMX brought them out. And it was because, you know, DMX was a lot, you know, obviously he had a longer career. He did a lot more things, did movies and all that shit. And not to say nothing, because when Big Pun died, that, Vic, that Ortiz funeral home on, on Westchester and Castle, and you know, by the Castle Hill, that shit was litty. That's my area. I know that shit was litty. But that was a long time ago. Getting back to the, getting back to the point. So now Cuban Link responds. Because, you know, obviously Cuban Link and Fat Joe have problems so he responds to the thing and you know he heard the interview and joe saying about the not going to 
you know, not, not, he wanted to do the movie, but for free and in, in order, you know, in exchange for clearing his name and all this other shit. And Cuban reiterates what everybody, or what, not everybody, but what 90% of the people feel happened. He, 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 Joe wants to put it out here like he willingly gave up Punch Masters. He's been, had nothing to do with that. Liza had all these things for years. When, if you know, you know, he didn't. They had to fight tooth and nail to get those masters. And he only relinquished them after Cuban Link said they had to go through six or seven lawyers because Joe is, Joe is caked up. So what do you think? He got, he got top-notch lawyer. And eventually the battle was won and whatever, 20 years later, after Joe cast numerous, numerous checks, he was stealing from Pun. He was doing all type of shit. And not to single out Joe and act like these dudes in the industry ain't doing that on, on the regular. They are. They are. He's not the only one. He's not the first. And he damn sure ain't going to be the last. This happens all the time in business and especially in this music industry. So Cuban Link, like I said, reiterated what I feel happened. I mean, like I said, Pun's sister has, is entitled to her opinion and to speak her truth. But my question is, why the fuck you ain't speak your proof 20 years ago? Because if you would have came out 20 years ago with this, I'd have believed it. And you his sister. You know what I'm saying? Like, your timing is off for me. If you felt this the whole time, why the hell you ain't say nothing about it? Doesn't make sense to me. I don't know how y'all feel about it, but it don't make sense to me. So, yeah, man. Once again, rest in peace, pun, man. Long live his legacy. Long live his music. All the fans out there. You know what it is, man. Maybe one day we'll be able to get a, a movie explaining all the things that happened and, you know, his origins and everything. And if we don't, then... It's just the casualties of war, I guess. People don't, you know, people don't want to bury the hatchet. People don't want to get, you know, people don't want to do right by pun. That's what it boils down to. So anyway, yo, this your boy Smolito, Smolito's way. Once again, with another video, hit that like, hit that share, hit that subscribe button. Show some love to the channel. Until the next time, man, I'll see y'all. Peace.